there's no way to stop thermal expansion. It's physics, and there's no way around it. Um, the there are devices again that you put in line with your water heater that are called expansion tanks, um, and and they work similar to a shock absorber on your car. Um, they're a uh, tank with a rubber baffle inside, and on the top side of that baffle is air. So the way that they're meant to be used is you pump that bladder of air up to a PSI that is consistent with the standing pressure in the house. So that as it creates extra pressure, that rubber bladder gives, pushes in on the air, and it works as a shock absorber. They are extremely necessary, though a lot of people don't use them, don't install them, and don't tell customers just how valuable they are. Because again, we go back to the whole water heater and how you've got cold water coming in at 55 degrees is generally in the temperature for water in Virginia. <clears throat> and you've got this solid steel tank. It's not meant to flex. Just like if you can imagine your car going down the road without a shock absorber on the, you know, on the chassis, you would rattle your teeth out of, out of the, you know, just shake you to death. So this water heater is, is doing this. And then that cold water comes in, you use it, and it shrinks back down. And it does this, and it does this, and it does this. Well, most anybody has, at one point or another, taken a paper clip and bent it back and forth until it breaks. And that's a very simplified version of what happens to your water heater. So with this expansion tank, instead of the tank doing this, and doing this, and doing this, until it breaks, that expansion is controlled in that expansion tank. Um, it doesn't just benefit the water heater, it benefits the washing machine hoses behind your washing machine, which are generally rubber. They will expand in the extra pressure. The problem is they're not designed to hold once that rubber bursts. Mm -hmm. Expansion tanks are. That, that rubber bushing in the expansion tank will eventually break. The tank will become waterlogged what it's commonly referred to. In other words, it gets water on both sides and it's not doing what it is designed to do. But the expansion tank is designed to hold the water. When that happens at the back of your washing machine, you throw your time open.